Today, we are doing a suspension upgrade to our 2015 Winnebago Trend 23L. Hey guys, it's Chris with our Everyday Getaway. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thanks for watching. We're going to do an upgrade, a suspension upgrade. And we're going to do a sumo spring upgrade. We're going to do sumo springs on the rear and the front of the rig. What are sumo springs? Well, sumo springs are not airbags. They're an alternative to airbags, and they're not rubber. They're made from microcellular polyurethane. Now, what does this mean? They are maintenance free, and they also have a lifetime warranty. Now, what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description down below. You guys can check that out. They are not a sponsor of this video. We purchased these springs. Uh, we did a little bit, we did some research and the reviews on these springs are phenomenal. The vast majority of people are very happy with them. It's fairly inexpensive. It's not that expensive. You do not have to do uh, front and rear. I chose to do both. Now they make sumo springs for class A's, class B's, class C's, travel trailers, and fifth wheels. What you want to do is you want to make sure you select the right springs for your rig. If you have any doubts, go to the website. That's how I did it. We have the Dodge ProMaster 3500 chassis. This is what they recommend. Now here are the rear springs. And if you notice on this rear spring, you see this black area up here. Those are two one inch spacers. Some owners have used no spacers. Some have used one, some have used two and that's probably gonna vary depending on your preference and your comfort. I'm gonna go ahead and use both spacers. The front coil springs are different. It appears that these may be a little bit harder to get in, get on. It's a tight, it's a tighter area to work in, but we're gonna find out. Should be a fairly easy install. This part number is the SSR 35. Uh, 31354. These are the rear and the front is the uh, CSS that would be the CSS 1195. So those are the part numbers on these and like I said I'll put a link in the description down below. I think the total cost on both of those was I want to say around five six hundred bucks. So it's not that expensive to, to make a nice upgrade to the rig to give you a little more comfort riding down the road. We're going to show you how to install this type of uh, sumo spring. But before that, let's hear a word from our sponsor for this video. Hey guys, we wanna take a few minutes to tell you about the sponsor of this video and a sponsor of the channel. You know them, if you know us, you know them, we love them. RVmattress.com by Brooklyn Bedding. One of the first things Katrina and I did when we bought our Class A diesel pusher is we upgraded the mattress, cause you know, let's be honest, the mattresses in those RVs that come from the yeah. factory, not worth it. So what did we do? We bought a new RV. If you guys have been following the channel, we bought a Class C RV. It's a smaller rig. Mm -hmm. And the mattress that came in it, eh, it's really kind of thin. It's kind of cheesy. Kind of thin and hard. Yeah. So what right? did we do? We reached out to them and asked them, hey, do you guys have something for this? Yeah. For RV. this size RV. And what did we come up with? We came up with Dream Foam Essential, which is one of their foam-based mattresses in 10-inch width. So they come in different widths, yes. but we went with the 10-inch because that gave us a little bit more softness that we were looking for. And it actually is a full soft. So if you're looking for the exact one, it's a full soft 10-inch. Yeah. RVmattress.com by Brooklyn Bedding came through for us and we couldn't be happier. We believe in their product. They have a 120-day trial. They also have a 10-year warranty and their factory is located in Arizona. Be sure to go to rvmattress.com forward slash and use the code word getaway for your 25% saving on your next purchase. They also have blankets, 
They have sheets, pillows. I'm telling you guys, go check them out. They have so many great products, things that you're going to need to get yourself a good night's sleep. Do they have free shipping? Oh, they also have free shipping. That's right. They Way do. to stay on top of things. See that? Um, what would I do without her? She keeps me straight. We'd like to thank RVMattress.com for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel. Thanks, we guys. really appreciate it. Thank you, RVMattress.com, for our Brooklyn Bedding. And you guys, check them out. One of the best things you can do. Now, we'll take you back to our regularly scheduled video. Thanks, guys. Thank you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure to the trailer hitch where the where the RV is sitting right now to the bottom of the opening of the trailer hitch the receiver looks like it's 16 and 3 8 so we're gonna see what that difference is after we install these springs should be interesting I'm looking I'm thinking about an inch and a half give or take from what I've read we're gonna find out okay so you need to make sure that you jack up. In my case, I got to get the, the existing spring off the leaf. So I doubt I can get this off by hand. So they tell you, you may have to assist it with a screwdriver and a hammer. There's these notches in it and it should be counterclockwise to the right, to the right is tight, to the left is loose. She's coming loose. Just be careful to not hit any lines. You also want to make sure when you install in your springs that they're clear of any lines. Much tighter coming out than I thought. But there's the old spring. So the new one to get it in, I think I do have enough room. They send you some Loctite. I'll put that on. Gonna finagle this up in there and just make sure you don't cross thread it. Now they tell you you can hand tighten this going in much easier than the old one came out. If you have a oil wrench uh, a wrench for um to uh tighten up an oil filter that would work this is nice and tight i'm going to lower this down slowly and then we'll go over and try the other side all right now we'll go over to the other side and we'll do the same thing. We're gonna install the front springs. Let's get a safety in there. So they tell you to go ahead and Taking some soapy water, just going to clean down the coil. All right, so I put some soapy water on the, uh, the spring. There are two different grooves. The deeper groove goes on the bottom. Let's put it up like this. Here we go. There you go. Once you get that in there, snap the... So I'm going to go ahead and start turning it. Pop it on there. Some more. And as you turn it, it does go in easier. It gets a little bit easier. And then boom, it's on there. So I'm going to turn it up. And once you get it on there, it's very easy to turn. All right. Let's bring it down and see what happens. Side number one done. Let's go over to the other side. Start by putting the top. It's just a question of getting it started. Because once you get it started, it's pretty easy after that. There it is. All right. Turn this. 
there she is and we go a little bit higher right about there so we're about in the same spot on both sides so we're gonna go ahead and lower that down take out your safety okay there you have it both the front and rear springs are installed let me clean up here I'll get uh give me a minute to clean up and then we'll take this uh, we'll take her for a test ride and see how it works out and we're gonna measure the uh, back at the hitch receiver see how far up we came in the back it's probably gonna be about an inch and a half I believe the measurement when we first started was 16 and 3 8 so now that we've got the front springs in the coils in let's see what it is okay it's about 17 about 17 and 5 eighths good enough for government work so we got about an inch li lift in the back so let's take this for a ride and let's see if we notice a difference we're gonna see if uh, how well Katrina if she can remember if she notices a difference at all All right, that's about, we'll go to the left. We'll go down this way. All right. What do you think? It feels like it's a little more giving. It's not as rough. What do you think? You can't tell, can you? I can tell no difference. She can tell no difference, Bill. I think that's a, uh, that might be a gal thing, a girl thing maybe. One of the things I always learned, uh, to draw my years of driving a truck for work, you could tell, you could tell the feel of your truck. When you drive it long enough, you could just get that feel for it. You could just tell. So you could tell when you got extra weight. You could tell when something's not right. You could tell when there's a different ride. So, yes. Okay. So let me ask you a question. Does it really make a difference at the end of the day? Does it really make a difference? I think it will make a difference. Like right there, I thought that felt much better. I think the real test is gonna come when we take it on a trip like to Alaska right now this is nothing I'm gonna try to ride on some rough terrain see I just right there oh much better feels the same to me no I remember the time when we went over the one bump and it was like really bad this feels much smoother I mean, I think this is a guy thing. I really do. I, I think it's a guy thing because I don't think it's a big deal. Like that I right there? Like that right there? That was nice and smooth, babe. That, that was, was nice. That was smooth, but I can't tell that if it wouldn't have been smooth like that. If no. Had that, them, so. Already I could tell a difference. Well, honey, it's and it's not as jolting. If I, I think maybe if I went back and I looked at some of the footage, I think you'll see us doing a little bit more of that so far. Well, as long as you're happy, well, that's that's good. Yeah, but well, yeah, but you're going to be driving as well, so and it's going to make things easier and better for you. And we're back. Are we good? We're good. Well, there you go, guys. My initial impressions. I noticed a difference, especially on the turns. Katrina, not so much. And just, maybe that's just a guy-gal thing. I don't know. I noticed a difference. I'm very happy with it. I think this upgrade to the suspension system is going to make a difference for us, especially when we make that journey to Alaska. I'm really looking forward to that. I'll put a link in the description down below for Sumo Springs. Once again, they did not sponsor this video. We bought them ourselves. If you have any experience with Sumo Springs, please leave a comment down below. Tell us what you think. Were you happy with them? How long have you had them? Maybe what type of Sumo Springs? Did you use them for a class A, a trailer, or a fifth wheel? Please leave a comment down below. Let us know. And once again, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. It really does help out the channel. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing to the channel. We would love to have you along for the journey. 
So until then, guys, you all take care. And remember, any day you can get away is a great day. See you guys.